Okay. Okay. When before I have to make a video, I have to eat cheese up, and I'm a, because I'm a cheese addict. That's not that's not the point. I just wanted to bring it up. But here's what I want to do. WrestleMania 24. Um, my thoughts on WrestleMania 24, like what what I did last year with WrestleMania 23. Chris Jericho is the, now now let's go on to um. Um, now, now, Chris Jericho probably would face, he could face, I'd say, Jeff Hardy and Mr. Kennedy. But Shawn Michaels is, um, is, did, didn't Shawn Michaels want a shot at the title, like, a month or two ago, which he probably will face, probably, he probably will face, um, Mr. Kennedy at WrestleMania. He probably would. Because going f from Will Rumble, you got these, you got these huge things going on. They're, they're called, um, storylines and angles. P.S. Power said. That, P.S. Power's video was, one. he, he nailed it every step of the way. Because um, two new fans today only care about match quality. They say, "Oh, this." They say, "Hey, I'm John Cena. <laughs> we all guys." But that's not a that's it, now. Does that sound like a real wrestler, a wrestling fan? No. John Cena is he is more stale than than a biscuit left. Left over a month. Left out over a month. If you eat it, you'll feel like a brick. It's like biting into a block of wood. You can't do it. Now, now on to WrestleMania. Um, I'd say Chris Jericho probably would face Mr. Kennedy. You know, these are two... Now, remember... It's only, it's about three months away, so, these are, these are guesses or predictions. WrestleMania probably would be, one, this probably is going to be bigger than last year's, because WrestleMania is in the Florida, and Florida in the Citrus Bowl, which could either be, it could either have more wrestling fans, or there would be, it, Florida is a chick magnet. Sort of, it's like, and it's like, it, there's lots of hot girls, so there'll be a lot of girl Cena fans there, cheering for, on for Cena, meaning that is not a good match. Or, you know what, you know what, now, now if JBL faced, um, Chris Jericho, remember these are guests, guests, guesses, or they're not, they're not real information. They're not real. They're just guesses or hypothesis. Now, if you were to, if you were to say that tri Triple H probably he might face he probably would face Umaga. Or, or Triple H probably would face either um, not Kurt Angle, but um, Chris Jericho, which yeah. You probably would face Chris Jericho, which that happened about five years ago, about six years ago actually. Now, the Undertaker could face. Eh, this sounds horrible. Mark freaking Henry, that happened two years ago at WrestleMania. WrestleMania should. He should say something new. Not Undertaker versus Kane two times. That happened two times. WrestleMania 20 and WrestleMania, um, I guess it was 13 or 14. He faced, um, Sid one time. Yeah, the Undertaker could face, I'd say, he could face, um, 
my guess, and I know you, I would hate to say it, but Edge, the way you know a champ, because he has some, um, Edge probably would, fit, he'd probably be in a Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania, which, because that Edge, um, ruined the Undertaker's night at, in a Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series. So, now Ric Flair probably would face, I'd say, Ric Flair could face either, um, MVP, or, I'd say, Ric Flair versus, um, if he were to face anyone, he would probably, probably face, I'd say, John Morrison. I don't know. Well, probably, you know what, this seems a lot, seems a little lame for a little guy like John Morrison, who is champ, to face, um, Ric Flair. Yeah, you know, WrestleMania probably will be bigger than last year's, if if possible. Yeah, yes. I I think that um John Cena would come in and and destroy or would return, he most definitely will return. I'm sorry PS Power, but this is true. Because um, John Cena is, he might come out and play and, and say, and, or he'll just um, go be backstage, or whatever, and then probably say, hey, my new movie is coming out. It's, 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 it's fun and excitement. You'll probably say that, um, to, in that stage area. Which I see happening. Oh, and the stage would, I want it, the entrance stage would, I would want it to be very good. I want it to be very good, because, and we'll have a, I want a cruiserweight open, like they had four years before. Because Rey Mysterio hasn't been in a WrestleMania match since two years ago, and that match was freaking. That was a great match. Triangle, Rey Mysterio, and Andy Orton. The Olympic gold medalist, the high flyer, and the legend killer. That was. That was a good match in 06, but they shouldn't re- they shouldn't decorate Eddie's, um, um, Eddie Guerrero's, um, imagery, and decorate that, and make that your top angle of SmackDown. That was it, that's, that was it for half a year on SmackDown, until, until Batista returned, or until Rey Mysterio turned, or, or Charlo Guerrero turned on Rey Mysterio. That's the reason why I don't, I disapprove of, of, um, that. I didn't really think that angle would have been any good, because it, um, Rey Mysterio is a high flyer, and then you've got Kurt Angle, and Randy Orton. Kurt Angle could easily win from Rey Mysterio. Randy Orton is, I'd say, um, he could probably face, I'd say, Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels versus Randy Orton, it could be possible. But MVP could, and, could MVP could probably face either, probably, Batista. At WrestleMania. That, and I'm gonna continue it. WrestleMania 24 Thoughts. What, I know it's early because it's not Real Rumble, 
but um, it's gonna, it's gonna be two weeks, and, and then Monday, the Monday night roll after that, I'm I'm gonna be there, and I'm gonna show you what I've done. I'm gonna show you um what my thoughts on my raw experience in the Wachovia Center. Okay, I'm out. Bye. This, Ray, this is Raymond 14 all night. Thanks. Bye.